I think the crucial thing is to extend democracy uh, into uh, the work sphere, into the economy. And it's nonsense that we have these uh, corporations that are bigger and more powerful than so many whole countries. One of the other spin-offs of having um, uh, big divergences in income is uh, the loss of social capital and social interactions. We've lost community in residential areas so often we don't know our neighbours. And we really should be able to recreate that human contact in the workplace where we get a sense of being valued for what we do. If I had to focus on only one thing, I would want to focus on children's chances, children's opportunities for development and flourishment, their life chances should not be predetermined by which part of the world they're born in, who their parents are. I think an initiative I would like to work on is changing our education system, making the education system more creative, allowing it to react to the world as it is changing instead of um, reacting to what has happened within the last few decades. One concrete project I would find useful is to create more schools and to make sure that children who grow up, who grow up in countries where they don't have schooling for free, that they can all learn about what is needed to live in a smarter way. One of the ways to reduce inequalities in the world is to create a global social fund to make sure that poor countries and poor people uh, can get those type of social needs met and environmental development can be speeded up in the developing world. For me, I think what is really exciting is we live in a global world of new, big and exciting ideas. So if we look at these ideas such as planetary boundaries, safe operating space, state changes, to me these are fundamental game changers in the way that we think about ourselves, the way we are in the world, the way we develop our cities. I would commit myself to implementing a regenerative economy, to looking precisely at how we now spend money. How does nature do business? Nature makes a wide array of products and services running on sunlight with no waste. When Walmart, the, the evil empire, said, we are going to go to our suppliers and say, What's your carbon footprint? What are you doing to improve the sustainability of how you produce the goods that we buy, that we sell to our customers? Walmart may be doing more to drive sustainability around the world than any of us that are the so-called sustainability advocates. I think there are many groups around the world uh, that recognize the, this situation and that recognize what, where, uh, where we need to go. And I think the missing element, however, is the coordination of those, those groups. So I think ultimately the solution to this problem is to recognize the level of inter interdependence and not be so um, you know, focused on just one aspect of, that, of, our, of our lives, on the economy or society or nature, but, uh, but try to integrate all of those things. Thank you.